All right, guys, so Jordan Brand and Ama Manier are back again, and this time around, they are working with the Air Jordan 5. How'd they do? Let's find out. Yo, what's good, guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today, we got a detailed look and review on these bad girls right here. This is the Ama Manier Air Jordan 5. This is one of two. So this particular colorway has been dubbed the Dawn, and then the black and maroon base colorway has been dubbed the Dusk. So we've got Dusk till Dawn. Crazy movie, by the way. But anyways, if you were interested in the box, this is it. Mine's a little bit damaged. Um, but they've got the A logo that we saw previously on... What the hell was that? What shoe was that? It was on the airships. Oh yeah, I love that shoe. But anyways, uh, this is the box. They've got the uh, the A logo all debossed or whatever into the box, much like they did in that pair. This is a women's release, so please keep that in mind, okay? So if you're a guy and you're trying to go after either of these pairs, actually I was trying to look at the, the black pair just a second ago and I could not find them on sneakers, so I don't know if they're more exclusive. Is that how they did the 12 too? Yes. That's how most of them are. The threes were a women's. I can't remember what size my fours are. No, I'm just saying, like, I think one colorway was male. So oh, one, was it? I want to say. You might be right. And I want to say it's usually the darker colors is for the guys. I don't know. But either way, I think that this is the better of the two colorways. Another thing to keep in mind is that the upper is not white. I did think that it was white. My eyes have deceived me once again. Good old online images are not exactly accurate. So what we've got here is just a gray upper and it's gray new buck. So there's things on this shoe that I absolutely love. And then there's things on there like the toe box that I hate. Now, as far as the outsole goes, that is clearly an Air Jordan 5 outsole. It is the second Air Jordan within the flagship line to feature herringbone traction. That was first debuted on the Air Jordan 4. However, the Air Jordan 5 did debut a couple of things with itself within the Air Jordan line. The first thing is that translucent outsole. It was not used previously on the Jordan 1, 2, 3, or 4, at least in the original stuff. I, obviously, with the retro colorways, they've mixed things up a bit. They also first introduced the reflective tongues as well as the nice little lace lock. Now, because this is a collab, they actually switch things up a little bit. So one will be branded with Jumpman branding, and then the other one is Ama Manier branding. One of the cool things too is that uh, they alternate. So you've got Jumpman and Ama Manier on the bottoms, but then on the tongues, it's the opposite logos. So I thought that was pretty cool. Now, as far as the cushioning is concerned, it's just like every other Air Jordan 5. So we do have a polyurethane midsole. Inside of the forefoot is an encapsulated air sole unit. And then inside the heel, you can obviously see that it's a visible air sole unit. I will say that the uh, the polyurethane feels a little softer and not by a lot but just by a little bit so they are a little bit more comfortable underfoot but not by much so don't think that they're going to be like cloud like or anything like that but it does feel a little softer and then just in case you were wondering the insole itself is dream cell why it's not a actual polyurethane i'm not sure for the hefty 225 yes 225 that's crazy price tag you should get the best of everything i don't care what their budget and margins say best of everything at 225 this is not it however they did go the extra mile and spent that budget on embroidering the insole itself i don't know why i don't know why they do that part like that's gonna destroy the insole like you know what i mean but whatever you got nike air branding on there just in case you were wondering and the shoe does come with three sets of laces so obviously what comes equipped in the shoe is the gray pair but then they also come with this kind of cream or sail color and then a all white pair it would have been nice if there was a uh, blue one to match the midsole color and everything like that but i don't think that's quite a deal breaker but you know what i mean it just kind of depends on your perspective now as far as the shoe overall they're very similar to the uh, dj khaled version of the air jordan 5 not identical or anything like that so they don't have have like the stitched on uh, patches where the big ankle bubbles would have been but they are a slimmed down version of the air jordan 5 so that whole collar area while it is still padded it's just not heavily padded like they typically are I actually really like the way that this came out because this is more like the original so there's just good sculpting in there so it's good for performance but it's not like skate shoe puffy like some of these retros have been. Another change that they made is right here at the eye stay area. So normally we have plastic tabs that are on the eye stays and instead we've got leather panels or leather patches with the you know holes punched in them for the lace holes and stuff like that. And I just think that it looks really cool. Uh, it's not something that you're gonna really like notice. You're not gonna be like, oh man, that's premium looking. You know what I mean? Until you get them like really up close in hand. But if you appreciate those kind of small details then I think that you'll like it. Maybe you won't, I don't really know. All I know is that when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's pretty dope. I like it. I like it a lot. 
Now, some of the awesome features that they put on here that are definitely not from an Air Jordan 5 would be the netting. The netting is on the Air Jordan 5, but not like this. They actually switch the netting up completely. And instead of it just being a bunch of little holes in there and stuff for ventilation or breathability, they actually put in the same exact A logo that we did see in those airships, the little keychain thing, which these don't come with. Where's the keychain? But it's that same exact logo and it is repeating and I think that it just looks awesome. And I will say that I think like I think it was on the airships too, where I was like, is that on the insole and the liner as well? I couldn't tell. I'm almost positive at this point just because when I look at the liner on here, it is the A logo repeating. So I'm pretty sure that was on the airships. It was just all black, so it was really hard for me to see it. And I just really like that little attention to detail. So it's like again, for 225, you should kind of have everything on here, all stops, nothing really like held back. And even even though they did hold back on a few things like the insole and the little extra doodad the keychain maybe mine just didn't come up i don't know maybe it fell off the truck somewhere i'm not sure but either way for 225 you should get everything and so that's what all of these changes to me feel like it feels like oh they redid the netting just for this shoe i think that's really dope i don't think i'm going to be able to get a good b-roll shot of it so i'm going to use this image instead you know what will be able to focus on it what? Your iPhone. Oh, you think so? I forgot that I got a new iPhone. I actually don't think I like it. I think I miss my old one. I think you miss your old case. I definitely miss my old case. <laughs> oh, this thing is pretty badass, the cameras. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can actually see that, but that is crazy, dude. Like, I don't know if you guys actually care about it, but I do. I think that that's a nice little cool touch. One more change that they did actually comes on the tongue, and I'm not talking about how thin it is, even though it's still puffy, just not skate puffy. But uh, yeah, right down here, underneath the, uh, the main part of the reflective tongue, they actually put a little lace loop or uh, a fixed lace loop, is that what they were called? So finally remembered. But um, yeah, they put one of those on both pairs. That's never been on an Air Jordan 5 to my knowledge. And so yeah, I think that that's just another neat little feature. Is that gonna keep the tongue from shifting side to side? I'm not sure. All I know is that I thought it was pretty dope. So just saying. Now my favorite change is actually behind the tongue. So on this one, it says Ama Manier, which, you know, that to me, I don't care about, but it's cool either way, just for the brand itself, not Jordan brand, but Ama Manier. However, on the back of the right shoe, it's got MJ signature back there. That is and awesome. Outside of that, it's got everything that everybody pretty much loves on the Air Jordan 5s. You got the 23 PE branding right back there. It looks great too. And then we have Nike Air on the back, despite this not being an original colorway. As we know, they make exceptions to that rule for collabs for some reason, because you know, they're special and everything else isn't. And yes, that's sarcasm. And just in case you were wondering, the Nike Air branding right back there on the heel does protrude out of the back or the panel. It is not original, but that just looks really cool. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, like I told you way back in the beginning of this video, this is a women's shoe. So make sure that you don't do what I did and order your regular size. Yeah. That was stupid. But anyways, if you were interested in grabbing these, I would go down half a size because there's less padding in the shoe, which will make the shoe a little bit roomier. So if you are a wide footer, go true to size, you should be good to go. If you're a normal footer or you have a narrow foot, you might want to consider going down half a size for a nice snug one-to-one -one fit. And again, this is a women's shoe, so make sure that you convert your women's sizing. So I'm usually a men's size nine, so I should have bought a women's size 10 and a half. And then if I wanted to go down half a size so I can make sure that they fit properly, I'd get a women's 10. And if you you happen to be in our area which is the Sacramento area make sure that you head over to Doco and check out Phenom they just moved into a brand new location down there where they will be carrying these in a full size run so uh, if you're in this area and you want to know where to cop these that's where to go and with that being said sound off below and let us know what you think about these and what you think about the black version or this gray base version like which one do you like better did, did you see the other ones yep 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 which one do you like these oh really even though you prefer maroon yeah why I don't know spice things up Okay. I personally like this colorway the best as well. I just don't like the toe box, so it is what it is. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I really appreciate it. We will catch y'all on the next one. So until then, have a good one.